Hello everyone, I'm John Chai from Naming Fox in Taiwan. Thanks for giving this opportunity to share this topic, implementation of concurrent Fox beam mapping in a clinically applied blood brain very opening procedure. Fox ultrasound combined with smart bubbles can make blood brain barrier transiently open, become a promise mean for CNS drug delivery. Backstage emission is the most common way to monitor Fox ultrasound induced BVB opening with mic bubbles, such as calculation monitoring and test beam mapping. It has been validated in preclinical large animal in 2021. And there are three machines running clinical validation now, some cloud from Casera, it's a play narrow from inside check and our system model 001. All have their own technology to control and monitor Fox ultrasound emission. As already published paper in 2021, clinical treatment using the MIFAR system during 2018 to 2020 shows we have successfully induced the BBB opening in RGBM patients. Here shows the clinical treatment workflow. First, during patient screen day, contrast enhanced MR image was obtained for treatment planning before treatment. Once the patient being included in treatment day, the focal point of transducer was navigated to the RI. After setting up the neural navigation before the ultrasound sonication 30 seconds, Microbubbles are IV injected into patient. And then sonication was continued with the predetermined fixed level and the last for two minutes. After the, sorry, after the sonication is done, patient is moved to MRI and obtain the second and the third C MRI immediately and 24 hours after sonication to confirm BB opening and the BB closure. However, in this trial, we designed three fixed levels to induce the blood brain barrier opening. The safety and the effectivity was relied on post-operated MRI image. Because the Nemifast transducer phase array design and it can be operated in dual transmit and receive mode. So we can really try to acquire multiple AE signals to develop AEF controller algorithm, the imaging and the forced ultrasound beam mapping. During the treatment, there is opportunity not only control the emission level to secure the exposure through the AEF controller, but also can feedback the focal beam mapping to confirm the pressure deposit in the brain. In this study, we proposed an AEF controller and a microbubble free AEF path beam mapping to monitor the BB opening, assure the procedural safety and again procedural effectiveness. <coughs> A signal was received and analyzed concurrently. We found the harmonic energy stability as a change value. We designed 19 steering points as one cycle. The exposure level was elevated per cycle. For AEM development, AF beam was being formed in short burst and then the acoustic uh, energy is based on AF. 32 elements were randomly arrangement and uh, employed to reconstruct acoustic emission map. We used brain tissue mimic phantom with transcranial setup to validate the feasibility of correlation between AEM and the transcranial acoustic in intensity. We designed in vitro experiment to validate AEM and both AEF and AEM were validated by an in vivo experiment. Here shows the concept 
we are working on to integrate AEF control and AEF focus beam mapping during the NAMI fast BB opening treatment session in the clinical trial. First, at the beginning with the lowest level, a good emission mapping was employed to estimate transcranial acoustic pressure as reference. And then the sonication energy level was increased until the AEF value reached the threshold. At the meantime, with the highest level, the second mapping was obtained to monitor the power elevation in the target brand position. And then energy level gradually decreased to the second set threshold. MRI imaging was obtained before and after treatment. Here <clears throat> shows the AF in in vivo experiments. The results shows AE change value below or above ADB when BB intact or open. For realizing real-time AF controller in name of our system, we set ADB as a ramp up threshold. In the result, this algorithm can reach 90% sensitivity to induce BBB opening with a mark bubble. Also, T2 star weighted MR image and HE set show that there was opportunity to observe red blood cell extravasations. But it is smaller than the accepted criteria in the previous literature and consider the effect to brain should be minimal. minimal. The performance of a Fox B mapping was tested through a transcranial Fenton setup. Total, totally 72 experiments were acquired from standard brain tissue mimic Fenton covered by 12 human skulls. The AE mapping was reconstructed with the magnitude correlated with the hydrophone measurement in the same setup. The correlation between the image intensity and the transcranial pressure is highly correlated with the correlation coefficient is 0 0.667. In in vivo experiments, the AEM intensity was distinguished between intake and BV opening. In the result, we successfully validated the effect effectiveness of AEF for speed mapping. Recently, the MIFAR system has finished a clinical trial with total six patients. And this is the first time to demonstrate the AEB mapping during the BB opening procedure in a human clinical trial. In this trial, more than 60 A exposure units have treated with the control of AEF algorithm. We acquired 12 data to reconstruct imaging and the correlation coefficient to estimate target energy is 0 0.6. In conclusion, we demonstrated AEF can provide superior BV opening control, whereas the AEM can transcranially visualize the focal beam and also give well prediction to BV opening. And results also have demonstrated that the feasibility of AEF and AEM in clinical or in preclinical experiments. Thanks for your attention, and please feel free to talk to us by email.